Hello, friends. Just want to show you what little project we're working on today. We got a generator wiring system here. I know it looks a mess, but that's what we're working on. We got a Generax generator. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it where you can crank it by a remote switch. Uh, we got a lot of wiring going on here. And we also connected a switch to where we can turn the choke on and off. That's what this is right here, where you can turn the choke on and off. It actually feeds power into the servo and it runs, the servo connects to the positive onto the relay. And what's gonna happen when you send power into here, it's gonna kick out this, as you can see, and it's gonna push the choke on. But as soon as you release it, it's gonna pull it back off. This is one part of it that we already wired in. And what this is, is this is a four-way relay switch what this is a four-way relay switch and what happens is when you turn this on here it turns the power on you can see the red light come on and once we take and push this switch here which b is going to be the one to engage the starter See it engage the starter. That's the switch that engaged the starter. You can get this right here on Amazon. It's a four-way relay switch. Uh, B starts starts the starter. C operates that right there, which turns the choke on. And B kills, A, excuse me, A kills is the on off switch, which connects to here, which is a switch that goes into the switch on your generator. Like if you're gonna take and cut the power off, that kills it. I know it looked tanky right now. We ain't done with it. We just getting it wired up, but we just figured we'd bring you in on this point right here. It look a little dirt, look a little messy, but when I get done with it, clean it up a little bit, it's going to work good. But I just want to give you an idea how this works. As you can see, B starts the starter. C operates the choke. And A will turn the generator off once it's running. But to get this system to work, you need a few items. You need a four-way relay, which you can get from Amazon. And you also need a Sentinel switch. That's what I got right here. And the way it's wired in is, where this Sentinel switch is wired in, I got it where you got two, you got a red wire that connects here, and you got a red wire that connects there. And basically what it is, it's like in, out. And what it was set up is I got the power coming from the battery, which is here, runs over into here, and it goes into the relay. And then it turns around and it goes back out to the starter, which is here. But you gotta put a wire in right here what energize the relay, the Sentinel. This wire right here energizes the Sentinel. And that red wire, what you see here, is running back over into, the red wire you see here is running back over into the relay, the four-way relay, what it's running into. That's when I kick in the blue button. And what that does, it energize, send power over here, send power over here to the center node which close the contacts in the Sentinel will send power out to the starter. And when you release the button, it stops. So that's how that system works. It looked complicated. 
I've been working on it for about a day or two, you know, because I have another job I have to go to, but it does work. And the purpose of this right here, it keep you from having to come out here and pull start it or push the button to start the generator up. You can start it from a distance. But like I said, it's still a progress in the work and I know it look tacky. No, it looked tacky, but like I say, that's the way it's looking. But as you can see, that's one four-way relay switch I got into it. I'm also putting another one. I'm also putting another relay switch in the back side of it. And I know you probably asked the question, well, why are you wiring two and two the system? But the reason wiring two in the system, you ever heard of having a backup on a backup? And this is my backup in case it doesn't go to bad. I can still start it off of this one here. This one here is gonna wire the same way as the first one do, but like I like I was just saying a few minutes ago, you can see this this is all that a four way relay, and it works the same way as the one in the front. But the reason I'm putting the nothing in here is in case the front one go out, I can use the back one or vice versa. So I'm just having a backup on a backup. It's best to have a backup on a backup, just like when your lights go off in your house. It's best to have a backup source of power that feeds your house like a generator one of them portable solar generators that i've been showing them other my other videos hope you like this subscribe to the channel give me the thumbs up but like i said i know it looking bad right now but just as soon as i get everything wired back up and put back in place i'll bring another video and add on to this one to let you see the complete end result but i just want to show you how i done it thus far Hope you enjoyed the video. Hey friends, back with another video. Uh, been working on the generator. Got it all wired up. Everything is in place. Got the remote in my hand to start it up. And I just want to tell you the functions of the remote. You got an A, B, C, and D. The A controls the actuator, which what that does, it operates the choke. It, it pushes the choke on. B operates the starter. And C is a kill switch. When you push C, when the generator running, it kills the power to it. All right, get ready to start it up. First, before I start it up, let me just give you another run through of what I did here. This right here is a center node. This is actuator. This is also located on your car doors, your locks. It's inside where you don't see it, but what it does, when power go to it, it pushes this plunger out. And here is a, a standard box that I put on here. This one here also have a four-way relay built inside. Of course, I wired it up, but like I was telling you earlier, I put two in here. And this is how you turn the relay on in here. You turn that switch on, and it's on. So I just turned it back off. Walk around, and here is as we were saying earlier about the center node switch. The way the center node switch is wired up, you got your hot wire here that comes directly from the battery, which is here. And then you got another hot wire here that connects to a switch on the back side of here and this send power back down to the starter. This red wire right here connects to the relay that's inside this box right here. And there's also another wire that runs back through here on the back side and it connects in here. As you can see, I got a switch here. What that switch does there it turns another relay on inside of the panel. And that's a four-way relay switch, just like the one in the front in the gray box. So we're gonna turn this one on, and this is the one we're gonna start up. You're gonna use this one to start it up first. Let's walk on around. And right here on most generators is a switch here where you can turn it off, turn it, turn it off and turn it on. But what that does, when your generator run, it kills the engine. I just wired everything into here off of both of them relays into here and I took the switch out 
to kill the power to the engine. So we're getting ready to start it up here right now. I'm gonna keep the video running. I'm getting ready to start it up. Okay, let me give you a demonstration what does what. As I was saying, B on the remote starts the starter. As you can see. A operates the switch, which is the choke. Well, I'm sorry, I told you wrong. C operates the choke. This right here, C operates that. See how that moving? I need to put a spring on there so I can pull it all the way back. I just had a piece of wire, well, a piece of bungee cord, and it's not pulling it back like it should be. Probably need to put a little bit more tension on it, as you can see. But like I said, this is just temporarily. That's just temporarily until I can get a spring to put on it. And I'm planning on putting a spring on it. I'm gonna work that again. See that pushes over? That's the same way your door locks work on your cars. This is inside your car door right here, a piece like this. It works the same way. Usually you push it and you push it the other way and it locks it and it unlocks it. So that's how that works. So we're getting ready to start this up right now. All right, I'm gonna have to push A and C at the same time to choke it. Bear with me. We're getting ready to get the thing started, friends. Gonna start it up, we were ready. As you can see, I'm using a remote to start it. I'm gonna have to push A and B at the same time to do it. Let me lay this right here. That way I can take one phone, hand to hold the phone and then push it. Gotta push C and B at the same time. Hey friends, back with the generator project. We got everything wired up again. We had to do a little remodification on some things, but it's all ready to go. Don't crank it up, test it and everything. Here's the remote that we're gonna use to crank it up. As I said, uh, B starts it. We're gonna start it with B. You can see I got the remote in my hand and you can watch everything turn over. go it went down push a i started back up again gonna push b again I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me the thumbs up on it. 
share this with someone else. The purpose of this video here is if you got a generator and you don't want to have to go outside to start it, you can start it from a remote. If you don't want to go outside to turn it off, you can turn it off by the remote as well. And as I said, everything I purchase is through Amazon. And I will leave links in the comments to where you can get all this stuff. And if you need my help, just send me a comment and I help you put this system together. I have no problem trying to tell you how to do it. Thank you for looking. Thank you for your, thank you. I, and I wanna take out time to thank all my subscribers. My channel had been up long, probably a month, month and a half, maybe a month. But I thank all my subscribers and I thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And please keep sharing the videos and give me the thumbs up. Thank you.